With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question states that a solid weighs 30 gf in air and 26 gf when it is completely immersed in a liquid of relative density 0.8. We have to find the volume of solid and the relative density of the solid. Now, what is given to us in this question is W1 that is equal to the weight of solid in air that is 30 gf. Here I would like to mention that gf is gram force and W2 that is the weight of solid when it is completely submerged in liquid that is equal to 26 gm. Another thing that is given to us is the relative density of the liquid that is equal to 0.8 as the relative density is a dimensionless quantity so we will not write any dimension behind that. Now Archimedes principle states that the loss of weight in a solid is equal to the weight of, weight of liquid displaced. Whenever we immerse any solid into a liquid, the liquid displaces and that displacement of liquid is equal to the loss of weight that is in solid. So first thing we have to calculate is the weight of liquid displaced and that is equal to the volume of liquid displaced multiplied by the relative density of the liquid. So it turns out to be VL into 0.8. This is in the unit GF that is gram force and the loss of weight in solid is the amount of weightlessness a solid feels when it is immersed in liquid that is equal to W1 minus W2. So that is 30 minus 26 which is equal to 4. Now, obeying the Archimedes principle and equating these two, we get the value of Vn. So, 4 is equal to Vn multiplied by 0 0.8. Here, Vl turns out to be 4 divided by 0 0.8, which is equal to 5 centimeter cube. So, that is the volume of liquid displaced. Archimedes principle also states that the volume of liquid displaced is equal to the volume of solid because of which the liquid is displaced when it is immersed in that liquid. So, we can write Vl is equal to Vs which is equal to 5 centimeter cube. So, the next part of the question states that we have to calculate the relative density of the solid. So density of the liquid is equal to mass upon its volume. Please make sure that this mass is of the solid that is in air that is equal to 30 upon the volume that we have just calculated, volume of the solid that we have just calculated. So this turns out to be 6 gram per centimeter cube. Now relative density of any material is equal to the absolute density of that material divided by the density of water. That is equal to 6 upon the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. So relative density of solid turns out to be 6. As the relative density is a unitless quantity, so it does not have any units. So this is the end of the part 2 of our question. I hope you understand. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.